don't worry, buddy. I'm just gonna give you a little ex explanation and and a quick demonstration on my, on my fire alarm system here. First, I got my Silonite SK2 fire alarm control panel, and we're gonna go ahead and open it up here. Look at the inside here. Okay, see, I, as you can see here, I have a couple of troubles here. I'm showing a knack fault. Probably because I don't have a resistor. And I got a trouble with zone one because I do not have a resistor. And for the, for the notification lines, I just got my spectral alert uh, hooked up there and only the strobe is wired up. The horn's not wired. And for the initiating device, I just got my notifier MBD 12L pull station. So, with the walk test feature, when I go to hit walk test, it, it, it actually sets off the alarm, but only the strobe will, will, will flash. So, when I hit walk test, hold on for a couple seconds, and, it, and you see you got the strobe light flashing, and I got a trouble in zone one flashing too. The problem is, is probably because I don't have a resistor for zone one. So we'll just reset that. And what I did is I, I hooked up my notifier MBG 12L pull station to zone two. And I also have the resistor in there too. And there's still no trouble in zone two. See, I'm, uh, I, I'm I, I got six days obviously here, so I'm gonna go, go to the radio shack there, see if they have any have any resistors that I need. I'm gonna go with what Firearm Junior Tech Nine says. I'm gonna try to get some 10k 10k ohm resistors. See, I, I, I wonder if I put a resistor in, uh, uh, into the NAC there, I wonder if that will clear the NAC fault. So if, if I need a resistor to, to put into the to my NAC here to clear out that NAC fault, let, let me know if I'm right. So let's, let's just go ahead and demonstrate an alarm here. This is on zone 2. Okay, we'll acknowledge that here. I got zone 2 in the alarm. I got the strobe light flashing. If I had the horn wired up, the horn will be going off too. Okay, it's a false alarm. You can silence the alarm. Silence that. As you can see, the alarm is silenced. Yeah, with, with my panel, I do not like doing audible silence. See, like when, when I do my system tests, I like to I ha have a program to, uh, when you silence the panel, I like to have a program to shut off the horn and the strobe. So let's just reset the pull station here. Got the wrong key here. Here we go. My notifier key. Okay, pull station's reset. Now let's reset the system. Okay, and I still need to get batteries for the system too. As you can see here, like this is what the my battery wire looks like here, and and and, and with the power cord, it's a it's an eight foot power cord. I get it at the hardware store, and and you have it connected right there, as a little device to any new fire alarm enthusiasts out there. When the panel is actually powered on, do not ever ever touch any wire inside the panel or anything that's inside the panel that has a wire you will get electrocuted and this is not a joke either and what I have my when I'm pointing the screwdriver here is, is uh, right there a little advice there keep this thing closed and and I want and now what in one of my comments there I, I got that that this was open there, but I managed to, to clo close that air and it's in a safe condition now. So I'm going to power off the panel here.
by just hitting that switch. Now this is what the battery wire, uh, my, my battery wire looks like here. Now, uh, uh, with, with with this wire wire here, uh, I I want I wonder how uh, how how I'm supposed to like connect the battery, my fire line battery here. See, this is just a a black wire along along it, and, and then and then and then this is a positive and this is a negative wire, and 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 this is a plug here. You can plug plug into here. To uh, put plug into the battery thing. Now, if somebody out there can tell me how, how to hook hook up the batteries to the fire alarm control panel, that would be greatly appreciated. And 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 please post a comment in the comment box. So, so I so I just said here. Uh, yeah, I'll open up here. The panel's powered off. So yeah, this this is where your power cord is connected. The, the black represents hot, and the white represents neutral, and and the green represents ground. It says earth there. So this is black, white, green. You can use it from a computer cord. So basically, with this cord here, I I got this brand new cord at the hardware store down the street. And it's a very very good cord. Want to make sure you you have that closed up there because you don't want to electrocute yourself. So I so if I were you, I'd close that. All right, we'll go ahead and power the panel back on. Okay, we'll silence that. So it's probably why I couldn't can't do walk test there. I'll show you again. Hold that walk test for a few seconds. Okay, like I said, when you when you put it into walk test here, I got a tr trouble here. See if we can acknowledge the trouble. Okay, you can't acknowledge anything there when the when your panel's in walk test. But I I can I can still test the zone and, and make the zone light up. Okay, let's open up the pole here. Okay, it shows that zone one is flashing here. See, so probably don't have a resistor for zone one here, but I am going to go to the rear shack there sometime and look for a resistor. So let's reset that. Okay, reset complete. Okay, sounds the trouble here. See, so like I said before, if anybody out there can tell me how. How to properly connect the these wires here to the to the fire alarm batteries here? Please post the comment in the comment box b below when I, when this video is up. So, anyways, that's just a an explanation of my fire alarm system. And uh, hopefully, uh, and I, and I, I get some more system tests coming here. I, I I I've already got four more system tests filmed. Yeah, uh, and, and uh, uh, I'll try to take any re any requests that you have that you have there, but 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 not right not at the moment there. I will not be taking any requests there until I show my uh, all my fire alarm co uh, collections here. Oh, excuse me, I, I, I didn't mean that. But, but just uh, please look into my at my fire alarm collection here, my fire alarm collection update there, and then post it in the comment box there. And ask which notification appliance you want me to use there. So that's it with my fire alarm panel explanation here. So please stay tuned for more system tests. Thank you for watching.